Printers and copiers are still a mainstay in modern offices, despite the calls to reduce paperwork. Today, you can either buy or lease a modern office copier to replace a range of other devices used in the office space, not to mention, it helps boost your team's productivity. But after getting the printer, office copier dealers will often approach you with a printer or copier service contract. Although these service contracts are necessary, it's essential to understand what exactly you're getting yourself into. So let's talk about the costs. If you're purchasing a copier, you may be spending up to $7,000 on a contract. But if you decide to lease, you could pay as little as $150 a month. So what does a copier or MFP service contract include? Well, typically a printer or copier service contract covers all of the components directly related to the device. However, this doesn't really protect the network on which the device operates. Most copier service contracts cover the drums, the toner, repairs, and maintenance, and other components like paper or staples if you use a finisher. Regardless of the dealer or manufacturer, it's essential to understand the fine print in every agreement. This can save you a lot of headache down the road, trust me on this one. And hey, by the way, you also need to consider the elements that the service contract doesn't cover. So how exactly does a copier service contract work? Well, dealers and manufacturers offer different options in their service contracts so that you can choose among the following contractual choices. Number one, pay as you go. If you sign up for this option, you will have to pay for the service or repairs when it's required or needed. Number two, all-in-one lease payment. Generally, an all-in-one lease payment includes a particular number of copies or printers allotted each month. And number three, lease and maintenance are separate. This is also referred to as a cost per pay contract, where lease and maintenance charges are separate in this type of service contract. What elements affect a printer or copier service contract cost? Some of the elements that determine the cost of a service contract include overage, the maintenance requirement of a brand new machine are much lower than a very old copier. And this is because equipment parts get worn out with age and after some time, you'll have to replace some of these parts, which affects the maintenance charges. Another thing is speed and paper output. The required output coupled with the operation speed is essential in determining the cost of a service contract. If the equipment has a higher output and volume, the maintenance cost will be a little bit higher. Also, there's some additional factors. Other elements also play a crucial part in determining the copier service contract price, such as how often does your business replace the parts, whether the copy machine is in color or monochrome, if the copier's spare parts are readily available on the market, and also updates, are they required in the copier and software? As you can tell, there's a lot that goes into determining how much your office copier or printer contract will cost. There's many different variables that depend on the company you partner with and even the types of machines you're leasing or purchasing. To learn more, make sure to read our blog below. I'm Marissa, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, The Copier Channel. I'll see you next time.